Hey there, Cutie and Cosplay here with another video. Today's video is a little bit different. So, some background. I have recently been inspired to recreate some retro video game ads and it's been fun and I found a lot of interesting funny ones as we all know. They were certainly special back then, those ads. Um, so today I wanted to look at some and react to some and just share the horribleness, the greatness of them with you all. So let's get into it. I've got my laptop here to view them and I will place the picture so that you can view them too and we'll share them together. All right, so to start us off, we're jumping right in with 32X, and might I say, they were overly creepy with the idea of plugging this into the Sega Genesis. They were just really weird about it, and it's perfectly shown in this ad where this child is asking, what are those two Sega machines doing? And the mom says they're making an arcade system, dear. <laughs> it's so strange. But it's also that hilarious joke of like going to the zoo and the kid being like, what are those lions doing or something? <laughs> it's just... <laughs> this one makes me laugh more. Some of the other 32X ads are very... They, they go a little bit too far for my comfort. But I think this one <laughs> kind of toes that line. It's funny, it's good, but also still strange and... <laughs> yeah. Moving on. Okay, so... This one, I thought was... Obviously, it's just great. They have a moon in there, hilarious. Um, but it especially reminds me of... Wallace and Gromit and the Curse of the Were-Rabbit. I just... Every time someone makes a joke about mooning or like just a butt, it just always makes me think of that moment where that guy's spinning on the thing and the priest dude is like, beware the moon. And it's just so, <laughs> this totally reminds me of that. The ultimate moonshot, beware the moon. Great. <laughs> so next one, we have Resident Evil here the director's cut where they say now you can see Resident Evil through the director's eyes and I absolutely love this image that they went to this poor director man and stole his eyes so that we too could see through them <laughs> delightfully creepy hilarious great I love it okay Game Boy I have a lot of questions for this one more fun than a ferret down your trousers? And he is playing the Game Boy while having the ferret down his trousers and ignoring the ferret, which is the joke, of course, but what? Why? Who enjoys that? Who, who at Nintendo was like, oh my gosh, guys, I really enjoy doing this, but you know what's better? It's just so weird, so strange, and I don't like the ferret going in there. I don't like that image. No, Game Boy. I feel like anything, anyone could make this ad. Anything is more fun than a ferret down your trousers. But that's just my opinion. Okay. <laughs> the new Game Boy Pocket. Seriously distracting. I absolutely love this image that this man spent all this time. You know what? Not even that much time. He didn't finish the legs. Just spent some time tying up the hands of this woman. And then he's like, oh crap, my Game Boy Pocket. And just totally ignores her right in front of her so that she can watch. It's good. It's great. Fantastic, even. <laughs> okay, so this one just makes me laugh. Graphics so real you'll forget it's only a game. Really? 
Are we sure about that? Are we sure? This little 8 bit, it's so real. <laughs> I like how he's coming out too. It wasn't like that. It wasn't really like that. Imagine if we had stopped here. Imagine if we had been, the graphics are so real, this is the pinnacle of gaming. We will never improve from here. We'd still be enjoying 8-bit today. Next, Neo Geo. I remember when he couldn't keep his hands off me. I love this lady angry. I love this dude playing it like an air guitar. And on the TV, they just dug through all these games to find the most phallic image possible. Like, why? No. It's too much, but the air guitar man's the best. The angry lady's pretty good. It's just strange. It's just... I don't like that... I don't like that TV image. Not one bit. Next. Tasmanian Tiger. Beats up poor Spyro. Poor Crash. Poor Sonic. And he puts them in the hospital. And not only does he put them in the hospital, but he comes to laugh at them, to pose in front of their poor full body cast selves. <laughs> I, they're so sad. I just, I, I love how sad they look. Especially Spyro, that's some hurt in those eyes. That is some pain. It takes a real jerk to visit your hospital room, just to pose with your giant cast. Excellent. Okay, next one. Kirby was some in some mug shots that he used to be such a good boy. But the game is not like that at all. He's still just this squishy little pink, lovely little fella. Why are they baiting you thinking he's some thug? He's gonna be pulling out guns and beating up people on the streets for money. What is this? Kirby never had, he never had evil in him. And they know it. <laughs> okay, this one is so strange to me. And it really makes me think that the person who was hired to make this ad had no interest in what this game was. So it's Klonoa. And there's these two people, obviously, as you can see, this man saying, But Susan, I have Klonoa. And this woman saying, Hey baby, I want Klonoa. Terrible! Some person, he was like, Please sir, will you make this ad for our game Klonoa? And that guy was like, Ha ha ha, that sounds like an STD. And just makes this ad. Who okayed this? Why were they like, yes, this cutesy game? This is a perfect ad for it. We want everyone to think of, of STDs when they play this adorable little creature in his fun, bright game. What? It makes no sense to me. But it's also hilarious and horrible and... I just can't. I'm amazed it was made. Poor Klonoa. He deserves better. He's not. He's not an STD. So this one, the Sega CD, you'll get old waiting for someone to top Sega CD. I, just this image of this old man screaming with Sega in his mouth and saying have fun now while you can still chew your food. There's these games flying around him. It's just this hectic mess that's like horrifying and slightly dark and just, <laughs> His face is just funny. It's just a, it's a very strange, goofy one. Slightly unsettling too, but not the most unsettling. It's just kind of reminds you of your mortality while you play your games and nobody wants that. So, strange one. This Rayman one is also very weird. No arms, no legs huge features 
what is he doing at the, this urinal with these other men? They're watching him like, I don't want to think about what they're looking at. This is very strange. Rayman has never been like that. <laughs> so I don't know why they wanted him to be like that. And this ad just walking in all confident about his stuff. Like, it's very strange, very weird. Okay, this one, when I was scouring, I passed by this one because it looks, it's so simple. And it's just, um, it's Resident Evil, adults get scared too. And <laughs> you see this adult man crying, and this child <laughs> is comforting him, being like, Hey buddy, don't worry, it's just a game, oh it's okay. <laughs> and it's just so ridiculous. <laughs> I enjoy that image of some adult man screaming and his GameCube Resident Evil and this child comes in to be like don't worry they can't get you they're not real all right so Game Boy Color don't forget to eat with skeleton hands playing this game and you know I think it's just it's a real they captured something pretty good it's a real feeling to just forget to eat sometimes while you're playing your games and it especially makes me laugh too it's almost like they felt guilty for this advertisement later because nintendo is the one that like i remember when i was playing on my ds and stuff like that they're the ones that are always like don't forget to stop and do something else for a little bit maybe now's a good time to quit and and have less screen time it was just they're always telling you to take a break and encouraging breaks and it's just they don't want you to become that skeleton now they take it back they're sorry or they didn't want you to forget here too they just always cared about us very nice <laughs> okay next <laughs> i love spyro and it's just this advertisement is so evil I know that he does roast animals in his games. He'll roast sheep to feed his dragonfly and... But still, this is so terrible. There's poor duck crossing and there's these plump cooked ducks and then Spyro's horrifying shadow there in the corner and like, why are they trying to make him this horrible villain? I don't understand. I don't like how sinister it is and Spyro you know, he, he does what he needs to to feed his dragonfly, but he wouldn't he would not support such rampant murder. They got him wrong here. Completely incorrect. Okay, so next Stevie Wonder. This man saying, if I could play video games, you bet it would be Atari. <laughs> and it's just so why? <laughs> it's I it's funny. It's good. I'm assuming this man was in good humor about it and was like, sure. I would if I could play video games, I'm sure I'd enjoy Atari. And not just somebody was like, Oh my gosh, Stevie Wonder, will you will you hold this controller? And they just snap a picture of him and then they're like, Look guys. If Stevie Wonder could play games, <laughs> I'm sure that's not how it was. Somebody would have told him if he just ended up, but it's a funny idea. <laughs> anyway, that's what it makes me think is that they tricked him into holding the controller. <laughs> I hate everything about this one. Everything. Catch the Tato Heat Wave. This is possibly one of the most disgusting images I've seen in my life. This presumably child, but he belongs in that 13 or 30 category where you're not sure. It's a little bit uncanny and um, confusing. I don't like the flames coming from his TV and roasting his cheeks. Especially to the point that it looks like he's not wearing jeans there. They're just so <laughs> bright that it just looks like bare butt there. And I don't like it. And then you move further up. His tiny frame, child frame, 
and you move a little higher up, and this giant man head. I do not like it. And it's very detailed and strange and horrifying and he looks happy to have his butt roasted. He looks like he's enjoying it. But I am not. I am not enjoying looking at him or any other part of this. And we're moving on. Now, Game Boy Pocket, now in six tasty colors, I understand why they use the tongues, but I do not approve of it. It's disgusting. It's weird. I get what they were going for, but you know what else is tasty? And naturally those colors? Fruits. You could do smoothies. You could do something actually tasty and not nasty tongues coming out of the skin wall. The clear one is the most horrendous. Perhaps the silver one next to it or that yellow giraffe tongue. I don't, I can't actually pick the worst. I feel like red is the least horrible just because it's vaguely normal. But this is terrible and I wish they had never made this. <laughs> okay, now this one. It's time for me to go into a very disgusted, confused rant as I'm sure everyone who saw these PS2 ads felt. So here is a mishmash. There's this one where they were just obsessed with their buttons. They were obsessed with triangle, circle, square, X, and they were like, you just put it in an advertisement and they'll know what we're talking about. I don't know if that's what they were going for, but there's some of their ads where I don't think they even have the buttons. Anyway, there's this one where this horrible shot of a woman looks like she's taking PlayStation drugs. There's PlayStation condoms up there, horribly shaped as their buttons. Someone, someone's eye with the buttons in it. This invisible woman just taking off her shirt to show that she's invisible now. All of a sudden, she has no abdomen. I don't, they get even worse from here. It's horrible. The ones that I have seen, I don't understand who approved those images. They were so horrible to the point that I was like, these aren't real. Somebody made some joke. This is like complete trash. Somebody's just trolling. <laughs> who, who did they hire for their ads? I, they're like, it's like they hired some, I don't even know what type of person that would be, but just it reminds me of that one Office episode where Aaron has Gabe help her spice up the Halloween party and he just shows that weird unsettling video. That's exactly what those ads are. Just weird. There's one where the buttons are like skin pillows. Like it's horrible, horrible. If a parent saw that in a magazine, wouldn't they be like, oh, hell no, my child's never getting a PlayStation 2. What is this freak stuff? They were trying so hard to be edgy to the point that it was disturbing and confusing. I don't know. The only thing I can assume, assume is that they were just trying to be so different that they fell off a cliff doing it. Horrible. Hate them so much with a passion. Hate. Hate, hate. And this one, even when you lose, you win. Rumble Roses. Just having a good time wrestling. <laughs> this is actually one of the pictures that I did try to recreate. I, I just had some inspiration from it, decided to do some wrestling moves. Um, and that was fun to do. But yeah, this ad's just funny. <laughs> the idea that even when you're losing, you still get to look at pretty chicks wrestling each other is funny. And... <laughs> It's just a funny image, it's good. And a funny idea that they're selling it that way. But still, not even the worst, like most disgusting ad. Some of the ads back then could be really over the line. <laughs> really horrible. And that is but a mere taste of the strange ads back then. <laughs> 
Man, they were really, really weird. Um, and, you know, some of them were good. Obviously, I didn't pick the ones that were, like, boring. Because <laughs> that's not fun to laugh at. But, um, but yeah, as I mentioned, I um, was inspired to recreate some. So that's kind of what gave me the idea for this video today. And, um, yeah, I definitely have an appreciation for how bold they could be back then. Um, I, do, I don't agree with all of the the ad choices they made, but um, but they turned out a lot of them turned out funny and good to look back on and be surprised at now. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for checking out these ads with me today, and I hope you had a fun time. I had fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.